hello guys how you doing welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here you're welcome you're welcome thank you for tuning in and if this if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always tuning in thank you for always coming back i am abby and this is happily married with abby so it's night it's about say 11 p.m it's the holidays tomorrow so i just thought to come around so many things were going on in my mind today i've had so many conversations and i have watched you know a few podcasts i just thought okay who will i just this just with if not my happy gang yay so yes someone chose the happy gang in my last video so yay you will be happy gang girls so today i'm talking about a bunch of things actually i'm talking about you know people who are you know getting married at a young age you know what it entails what it's about and you know just the rave about it and then the age difference you know in relationships so i don't know how it's going to you know be intertwined but i'm just going to rant anyway so just take it as my midnight rant video because i really don't have anything to do tomorrow so i thought to come and chat with you guys here i've had a couple of people come to talk to me or ask me about you know what do you think about me dating this person who is older or you know they'll ask me what at what age did you get married and then when i tell them they're like oh, are you for real how did you cope you know blah 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 what's the age difference between yourself and your husband first things first i got married at 22 right and people are like how did you cope you know am i even at my present age right now i don't think i'm ready to settle down what i tell them literally is see it's different for everybody i can't say you know this is the best age for you to get married some people get married at that age and you know it's a disaster because they haven't yet matured you know properly to be able to handle things that come in marriage and it's not even like you are mature enough or you know so much about marriage that you think that you can do with everything that comes with it we literally learn and grow in marriage but you have to have some certain level of maturity for you to go into something like it and i would say that you know for my age at the time i was 22 i wasn't acting my age some people used to think i was older but you know when you see me physically you think i'm younger but you know my mind was older than my age and maybe that was where you know i had the advantage some people think you know they'll miss out on life why am i rushing why am i getting married thing is it depends on you as an individual right funny enough as i when i got married i wasn't ready to get married to be honest i wasn't ready however at some point right you realize this is for me and it's at that point people don't get it until you get to that point of maturity where you know everything can be a hundred percent but deep down in your guts you know that this is good for you but you know based on societal standards and you know they just want to go with the flow no, 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 no. i want to be a baby girl or i want to be a baby boy or no, i don't think it's time for me to get married but you know that this person you're with is a good person and you guys can grow together you know until you get to that point where you can realize it and seize that moment ah, or oh, yo and that's why you find out that the problem with people right now is they're waiting to have it all before they're ready to settle down look at it this way at 20 20 between 20 and 23 your list is long ho ho cdh told that can have some it's gonna have money blah 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 you have so many expectations you have your list of how you want your ideal man to be and for the men to be honest at that age you're probably not even thinking about something lasting you're looking for a beautiful girl that's got you know all the assets that you need and all of that you're probably not even looking at character you're looking at the physical you know and then as you grow the needs either change or they decrease between 25 and 27 you're beginning to look for someone who is serious your expectations are still a bit high because to be honest that is your prime 
you are still at that golden age. You're swamped. To be honest, you're swamped with men. You're so swamped. You, you're feeling like Agbani Darego. You know, you're like, oh, men fool everywhere. They're on your case. Plus the one that is younger, plus the one that is older than you, plus the one that is in your age bracket. It now takes a level of maturity to you for you to sit down and say, what do I really want? And to be honest, if you speak to yourself, you talk to yourself, you advise yourself as an adult, you know the person. The person probably just doesn't have it all. Right? And you know, by the time you start to grow older, in your 30s, your early 30s, you start to, you know, like, oh, what's going on? Because number one, the number of men will decrease. Then the type of men you're looking for, the number two will decrease. And that's how it goes on, you know, as you grow older. But now the thing is, everyone is looking for perfection. I'm not saying that you cannot find what you want to. You can. But I put it to you. You can't get it 100%. God cannot make a perfect person. God cannot make exactly who you are. That man that you are saying, all of that time will come and tell you, this is exactly who I looked for. Yes, but it's not hundred percent. It's majority percent, but it's not a hundred percent. And if you're very honest with yourself, you would know that okay, this person has a majority. Let me stick to this majority. Why are we? we why are we all looking for perfect human beings? You won't get it all and you have to attain a certain level of maturity to be able to know that okay i think this is what i'm looking for i think i can go with this person and you know i think we can build something together if you are if you are bent on perfection perfection but any small thing this person is not the right person for you and it's what this person you just realize that the years are going by a clock is ticking I'm not saying you can't have those standards. You can. However, you can't find the perfect people who are looking for perfect people. Go and check them. Number one, they will not have steady relationships. It never lasts because they will always find faults. And if you don't think you are like that, start watching yourself from when you're in your twenties. You're too selective. When you are when you are writing your list of expectations, prioritize. Don't just write it. You must have money must have a good job, must be earning so-so amount, must be driving so-so car. Those are not priorities. What you should be looking for, first is character. Is this person kind? Is this person God-fearing? See, kindness, eh? Hmm. You can't joke with it. A partner that does not have empathy. Ah, problem. I promise you, big, big problem. And some people have used money to cover up their kindness and their empathy. You that you are dating the person, you are blinded by what the person has. Kindness is what make relationship last. Marriage is last. You don't marry a kind. You will see shege. You see when. So let me just start telling you. God fearing, kind partner. Then you can start looking for things as someone who can dream, someone who is ready to put in the work reason i'm saying this is because the person you are with now might not be any what you are hoping or you are looking at the person to get am i not the the, the point of marriage is that you even become a better version of who you were when i met you so i'm even praying that okay in this stage that you are there's no problem we can grow together and i want to see how far you can manifest i should be able to see that potential in you this person is ready to put in the work or oh, this person you know is diligent this person wants to do this this person is hardworking. this person is a provider even with the little he has this person is a protector i can see the person planning for our future let me say i'm looking for a man that's driving big car big car big problems the same way you don't even know how we got the money even those that are even getting the money left it, it, it comes with pride learn to know that you can't find perfection However, you can build your perfect partner when you build together. People were talking about, you know, what's the best age range? What's the, what's the ideal age gap? I think right now we are all seeing that this uh, generation thingy, you know, it, 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 it plays a huge role in relationships now. 
we have the Gen Z's, we have the Millennials, then we have the generation. What are the people before the Millennials? Oh my goodness, why is it not coming? I'm sorry, I'll write it down somewhere, right? We have the generation before the Millennials, and you're just asking and you're wondering, is it okay for that person in that generation? So we are looking at people, should we say 40 and above, dating a Gen Z. I don't see it happening. I'm sorry. Why? Because even the Gen Z guys are afraid of the Gen Z girls. Even the Gen Z guys are dating Gen Z girls. Two of them, they don't have ambition. Yes. Gen Z guy doesn't want to have a serious relationship with a Gen Z girl. They are afraid. They can't match up. So, you that are millennial, it depends. Or if you are in like the borderline of the, of the generations, maybe you'll be able to cope. But that you are called millennial, you want to date a Gen Z gay. Ah, you have that attack. You must be ready. It's like you have you have you have gauge, you have gym, you are ready for the stress. Because that's like a 10 year gap, right? For you to be a millennial and you know dating a Gen Z. I'm not talking about those in the in the borderline. I'm talking about like core millennials with like core Gen Z's. We are looking at 10, 15 years gap. And can you really manage that kind of relationship? Some people will tell you that yes, it works. And some people will tell you that no, it doesn't. What I think is your level of maturity. I don't see a problem in someone, you know, dating someone who's like seven, eight, nine years older. It depends on your maturity. But if I look at this generation thingy, right now, are the Gen Z's really ready for marriage? Are they really, really, really ready for marriage? The ones that say that they are ready, they enter the marriage, finish, your mom has also complained. You cannot accept this. I can't take this. I can't do that. I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna let anyone do this to me. I'm not gonna ah <laughs> but I never seen nothing. Because the real idea of marriage is not what you people are painting it out to be. So if you're a millennial guy and you think that Gen Z, you have to date a Gen Z whose mind is actually has been restructured, or the person who is not following this Gen Z marriage formats. Because if you are dating somebody that is dating Gen Z marriage formats, huh? wow, I, I, I give you kudos, uh, um, um, I'm pray for you, you know, uh, uh, um, I'm saying that the Lord is your strength. Your idea about marriage Gen Z is, please, if we are looking, if, if, because they'll tell you, oh, they want to date older guys, is that, is that the other them are dating, right? people that probably don't want to settle they just want to be with someone who's young and thriving but when it comes to the marriage partner you start seeing that the men are withdrawing why do you think they are withdrawing why do you think they don't want to settle down check it most of gen z ladies right now are not ready for the real idea of marriage sacrifice patience they are not ready and if you think the way society is now you can change the idea of marriage it is not possible the bible has set a standard to it you can't upgrade it you can't polish it you can't change it to suit you you don't follow that ideal it will crash you are not ready to be patient you are not you can even see it in the in, in their mannerisms you can see it in how they want life to be they want fast money Someone who wants fast money cannot be patient with a lady. A lady who wants a man to just pamper her cannot be ready for when the man is on his low. You're on your low like this, you're gone. They are not ready for it. They can they are not born to suffer. Yeah, they are not born to suffer. So when we are thinking about this age gap thing, let's look at the generation. And I want these Gen Z's, right? It's good that I'm seeing some of them that have like a different opinion about how marriage is or how they think it is, which is great. But most of them, when you hear their opinions about it, my goodness, I just laugh. And I really pray for them that God, I hope you open your eyes to see what it is. And that's why you see that we have a very high rate of divorce from even the ones that think, you know, I, I got married young and ready to get married. The issues will be here. The issues are a lot. Change your 
your your your thought pattern about what marriage is it's about sacrifice hey it's about forgiveness i keep saying something you never know the level of patience you have until you are married yes marriage will test every limit in you everything you never know how how forgiving you are you never know how patient you are and this will also come with kids you never know how tolerant you are until you are married it will test everything about you as an individual things you never thought you would take you would take and this is not about you being a pushover it's about you fighting for you it's about you fighting for your family it's about you fighting for your life it's about you fighting for your children are you ready for it is this new gen z generation truly ready for marriage you can pen down your opinions about this right and like i said i'm here to just run to i don't think i'm preferring i don't know if i've, I've preferred any solution but you know expectations and this age expectations 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 let's tone it down a bit what are you expecting from your partner what are you demanding oh this person is not giving it to me and you know that's the end of the marriage you just keep getting older the year it does it today you have clocked 27 next you have clocked 32 then the next you have clocked 39 and then now your your standards are now dropping but you're still not finding the men why the men have gone to be married to other people that's what happened so let's check in here that's my rant i just thought to talk about it just thought to put it out there my head has been battling it like the whole of today like why are these people like, and then i've been watching so many movies so many podcasts about them like or so many interviews about them like oh my goodness this idea is crazy <laughs> what are your if you've dated like if you're like a millennial who has dated like a Gen Z, let me know what your experience has been so far and um what are what are your thoughts about expectations in relationships you know and you know if if you know you're in that situation we'd like to hear your story as well i like to hear your story and you know we can all just learn and we can you know if it's that want to prefer solutions we can right I don't mind emails as well. Maybe I should drop, you know, an email um, address where I can be reached out if anyone wants to message me privately so that, you know, it's not just on YouTube. What do you guys think? I should start dropping it now. I mean, I'll drop it. But anyways, that's my wrap for tonight. And you guys, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I need it, guys. Thank you for the love that has been shown in my previous videos. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for the, for the support. I appreciate it. I think I'm getting tired and I'm getting sleepy. Um, thank you guys because this was like sleep therapy for me. I want to now shut my eyes and sleep. But I don't, I don't even know how possible that is. But yes, I have a bird in my mind. I feel lighter. I feel like I'm going to get like a lot of comments from you guys, hopefully. And so, I'll catch you in my next video, right? Cheers. Have a good night.